Hey girls, so today I'm going to be showing you something that's way overdue and that so many of you have asked me for but I just haven't got around to doing it is how to do my top knot. This is something that I wear all the time because it's something you can wear to the gym and it's something you can wear out, you can put hoop earrings in, you can dress it up, you can put more bits down, it's just such a versatile hairstyle and yeah it's, it is just one of my favourite ones and you probably notice that because I wear it all the time so yeah I'm going to show you now how to do it. So it is a lot better when you have dirty hair obviously like anything when you have dirty hair it just goes up better so I haven't washed my hair in about two days the best length for this hairstyle is like here the things you need are obviously a brush to brush the hair um, I've got one of these like bristle brushes because um, sometimes it's good to just like brush back the little flyaways you get brush them back with the hairspray then I personally like to use two hair bands to put it up in a ponytail with because I like it quite tight but because now my hair is got so long I don't know if you can see that I've got a mirror behind by the way so if you see me looking I'm looking in the mirror my hair's quite long now and I do struggle to get it up first time like sometimes I'm, I'm not even lying it probably takes like eight or nine times to get it right and up I use one of these to and I literally go over like three times round it and it holds it in place so let's see how many attempts this time takes me open eye through the waves cut through me hypnotized so we just need to brush it all up into a ponytail like quite a high one you want to brush it up to wherever you want it to sit on your head so I personally like mine quite high so let's get it up there here we go lovely jubbo my hair still feels quite soft though to be fair from when I washed it the other day which is annoying <laughs> So, got it up about here. I'm gonna put another hairband in just because one never feels tight to me. So, normally, if it does feel like quite tight, I pull out some bits. When I watch this back, I'm probably going to see my concentration face for the first time doing this. So, I've got a ponytail. Spray. Quite a lot of hairspray. I kind of twist, twist it a little bit. Just a little bit. And then I start to wrap it round. Now, it's quite hard to explain, but when I get to here, I kind of brush it, brush it around. Then I start twisting it a little bit again. So I just keep brushing it round. And then I tuck that bit underneath. Then we put the hair band round. No, I normally like these bits too. And <clears throat> basically that is the bun and it actually went right first time which is really strange. So yeah, you can see sometimes that's how easy it is to go up and then I just spray it. And then if you've got little baby hairs, just spray those little babies down. Then I like put it on my finger and I like give my little sideburn sits a little spray up the back and then that's when I use this bristle brush and I just very very lightly kind of just go over the back scoot them all up make it look a little bit neater 
So yeah, that is how I do my top knot. And that's done. My second hairstyle that I, mm, I don't really wear too much now because my hair is super long. The best length for this as well is probably about here. I'll show you a picture now actually before I do it and then you can see what I'm gonna do. People say it looks like a slinky. You know those slinkies that go down the stairs? That's what people say it looks like. So what we're gonna do, brush it back up into a ponytail as high as you're gonna want the slinky to sit. I like mine quite high. So let's do it high. Now, I'm just gonna have to improvise because obviously my hair is long. You put it in a ponytail, like this. But don't let this bit go. Do not let this bit go. Then what we want to do is take, so this is where you need quite a tight hairband because you can't, you're wrapping it, but then you're not wrapping it the last time. So, where you haven't wrapped it you need to pull the hair back through like this just a little bit so we get a little kind of a fan shape here then you just pull it out like a fan now if my hair was this length i would literally probably have this much hair sticking out and all i would do is push it back up into this bit here so then you so then you wouldn't be able to see it and then you could spray this bit and pull it forward and it would be done. But as you can see, because my hair is so long now, this is why I can't wear the hairstyle. But this is for all of you who are going to be able to do it. So yeah, what you do is you get your little bit of hair. <laughs> I mean, like I said, if you've got really long hair but it's thin on the end, you're you're gonna you're gonna be fine with this, but my hair's too thick, so see it's falling out I'm gonna try my best right so you just tuck it up and then you just spray it pull it forward you can push bits back there that you don't want to be so forward oh just ignore this bit because <laughs> that's not supposed to be there because that's my long bit. So that is how, obviously in the picture you just saw, you would see how neat it would sit, like when I used to be able to do it with my hair a bit shorter. Um, it's a really nice hairstyle, like it goes up really, really easily, and it's something that's super quick to do. So hopefully you got the gist of that, and you'll be able to do that yourself as well. They are my two hairstyles, obviously this one I can't do anymore, and I hope that you'll be able to recreate them. If you have any comments, just leave them below and I'll get back to you. And I'll see you next time.